Abra, Abra, Kadabra. Going to show you how to make a URL into a linker. Abra, Abra, Kadabra. Going to be just like Magicka. In this quick little PHP programming tip, we will share a function, and after you put it into place on your site, your function or class, whatever way that you want to establish this function, will automatically turn any URL strings found in data into active clickable links. And you would use this function on your data on the way out from your database, not on the way in. So it's really only for page rendering purposes, and you wouldn't ordinarily want to convert your URL strings to actual link tags on the way into the database for storage, only on the way out. But it really it could be converted going on its way in if you need it to. But traditionally, people use this sort of thing on the data when it's coming out to render on the page. Okay, now I'm starting with a PHP file that's named quickcodetest.php, but you can name yours I am way better than Adam.php. You can see I have my opening PHP and closing PHP tags. In the first line, I'm just going to establish an example testing string. And they might have many URL references in their data. But you can see that there's no HTML, there's no link tag or anything like that. It's just a string, a URL string. And it could have the HTTP and all that on the front, or it could just be the www. whatever, And it will still convert it. All right, so for this approach, we're going to use two arrays. And the first array is going to be named find. And your second array is going to be named replace. And there's two items or elements in each of those arrays. And they're separated by commas here. Now, I'm not going to go in depth about the regular expression logic used here because learning regular expression logic well for JavaScript or PHP could really take you up to one to three weeks of dedicated study time depending on how much you want to know and how intelligent you are. I'm just going to throw the function at you to use it if you want to use it. But I recommend studying all of the modifiers and special character functionality of regular expression programming to become fully knowledgeable about it. And also keep in mind that if you Google search for scripts like this, you can find many different ways that coders make this magic happen. So what you're about to see is just one of the many ways to skin this particular cat. Okay, now on those two arrays, we're going to run the preg replace function on our original string. So you can see we're just claiming the string variable again. We're making that equal to preg replace with the parameters of find. The find array goes here. The replace array goes here. And then the string data that you want to do the replacing in. So basically everywhere in the data where there's any URL strings, those URL strings are going to be replaced with actual clickable link tags. Okay, here's what we get when it renders to the browser. You can see now I have an active clickable link and if I click that we set it up to open a new tab so it opens a new tab with developphp.com in it and the reason why it opens a new because we put target blank here now what we're gonna do is go up into the PHP and we're gonna make this more of like a modular function so you can either make a modular external function that you include into your PHP scripts that need it that way you can use this function over and over again or you can create a class file. And we did a whole bunch of class file creation tutorials at Develop PHP recently. So if you go into the video section there, I think I have some a uh, whole bunch of PHP class file programming tutorials there for you now. That's if you want to turn this into a class file, which it's not even necessary. You could just make this a dynamic include. So let's name this function something that is identifiable to what the function does. So let's say activate URL or URLs. Actually, URL strings and we'll camel case that open close parentheses opening curly brace go down a couple of lines and put in your closing curly brace now we can just take all of this here control X and put it right inside the function so you have find array and the replace array and now here you can just remove where the string variable is and put return so what it'll do is it'll return the value of all these things replaced by preg replace to wherever this script is being called from. So let's temporarily remove this echo and we're going to make the string variable equal to this activate URL strings function and we're going to have to send a parameter of string through that function. So let's pass that as an argument through that function and we'll have to scoop it up right here so we can just name this str short for string and now make sure you put str right there 
where you had string before. Now your function is set up to be dynamic to where in any of the scripts on your site, if you include this function, any of the scripts on your site can just call this function using this line right here. So you just activate URL strings by passing the string variable through that function. Then you simply echo and let's change this to YouTube. Now test this on your PHP enabled server. And now I'm going to refresh my test page. You can see now I have a new link to youtube.com and the script is still running the same way it did before but now it's modular. You can take this and put it into its own separate PHP file and simply call it into as many pages on your website that are going to need it. So you guys know how to use the include or include once functions. You can just call that external function in from its own little file. That way you won't have to have this code sitting in many different pages of your site. Or you can choose to make this a class and then you can program against it in an object oriented approach. Okay so what I've done is added a couple of code comments for you guys and it says right above the function this function can be externally included as a dynamic reusable module for your software systems and then this comment says this is the code that calls that function to run basically this is the line that calls the function to run we're executing the function right there and we're passing whatever data that we want through it as an argument and that argument runs through the function here and it is returned after preg replace does its replacing now I've done tutorials on this sort of logic many years ago. It was using the ereg replace functions. You remember the ereg type replace functions? They've been deprecated in PHP for a little while now. We use preg replace now. So years ago for the web intersect tutorial series, I showed how to make active clickable links within that software, but it was using a different PHP function. I know some of you guys will remember that script, but here today at web intersect, Schaller a member we have named Schaller and and by the way uh, you can't sign up for web intersect yet okay so Schaller gave us an example of how to do this in another way this is another way to skin the same exact cat and you can see he has a function called make active link and if you want to find this page on web intersect you can probably just uh, type in make a link clickable in the uh, search bar up here and you'll find his little blog or you can see it on the home page if you go there soon so go to webintersect.com and you can find his blog and you can see his example that shows the same kind of function make active link and you can see all the code that he has at work in it and he's using regular expression with preg replace same like I'm doing but his is a little more robust and as you can see it says this will make an active link when anything has an HTTP or an email is posted to the to the data so maybe an email string I think his also converts email strings to clickable links and he uses the mail to syntax right there to make uh, the users default mail program come up so they can just email that person right away so you can see his example is a little bit more robust than mine and mine is uh, this function we have here is only for making clickable a tag links and not emails so mine is a little more basic his is a little more robust and like I told you, you can find so many examples online uh, for different ways to skin this cat with many different regular expression approaches. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful and look into regular expression programming more. And I, like I said, you could spend weeks on learning nothing but regular expression mastery. You can master regular expression programming if you take a few weeks to do nothing but that. Experiment with that, write some scripts, archive those scripts and hold on to them but honestly there's so many examples online many times you don't even have to write your own regular expressions they're already written all you gotta do is just go snatch them up buddy